What's up? It's your boy Carcino. And thank you guys for your donation, man. Don't forget, click that link in the description box. Donate to the page. It all matters. Hit the stream lab up. And let's talk about this though real quick. You can do that after the video. And don't forget to leave me a message if you want to talk to me. Leave a contact number. You want me to call you up in that description box in the stream lab. Now, let's get into this. Steve Harvey and Lee Daniels both lost their key shows. They're not going to be poor anytime soon. Okay, Steve Harvey lost his TV show, Gig Steve, and he lost Big Shots. Now, Big Shots is still going to be coming on ABC. It's just no longer going to have Steve Harvey on as the host of Little Big Shots. Melissa McCartney's taking his place. And no longer will Steve show be there. He's getting replaced by another singer. Whose name escapes me at this time. I think she was like the first American Idol winner or something like that. Or the big one, Kelly Clarkson. That's her name. So Kelly Clarkson is taking over. And she's bringing a bucket of chicken with her. But, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that's what she's doing now. Okay? That's what's happening. That's the new end thing. Now, the reason is what you guys didn't understand why. What was going on here? The reason behind this. Why is Empire just all of a sudden ending? We know we had the controversy with Jesse and Lee. That all makes sense. But what about Steve? Why is this happening to good old Steve? Well, let's go through the situation, shall we? As your boy Carcino would do. And oh yeah, if you got Cash App, I'm Carcino on the Cash App. K-A-R-C-E-N-O. You know. And Steve. Let's go through it. Jesse allegedly comes into Chicago and gets beat up. To where it's not caught on film. And he went through all that basically for nothing. It came out to everybody's realization that he might have planned the whole thing himself to get some attention, to raise some money on publicity. Why he got an album coming out. When the attack first happened, everybody came to his defense. But the first people that jumped off the boat was Lee Daniels, who was like, I'm going to come to Chicago and lead the charge on the investigation. And Steve Harvey. These were the first two public figures to come out making statements and videos. And, and all they did was give support. Steve was... Man, whatever you doing, brother, we with you. This ain't got nothing to do with no racial epithetics. We with you. And it was flying around. Steve Harvey condemns, and he wasn't the only one to do it. He wasn't the only one. There's a lot of people that was outraged. But Steve Harvey did it, and Lee Daniels did it. And all of a sudden, when it started to come out that this guy set this thing up and they were starting investigating that the rabbit hole could go a lot deeper and a lot further past Jesse. That this could be a big old conspiracy scam that's backed politically by certain Democratic parties. And that this thing could have been set up from deeper places. 
They couldn't go back and actually get these people publicly. But they could hurt them monetarily. And the people behind the scenes actually know. But it's nothing that they can go on paper with. So they just decided, you know what, Steve, your ratings are low. So we're going to replace that with Kelly Clarkson. You know, Steve. Oh, and your little big shots. Yeah, well, we got Melissa McCartney to do it. We're going to try her out with little big shots. We think we can get higher numbers there. But thanks for all you've done, Steve. We're going to pay you out your contract, and then you can just go out the pasture. But thanks for all you've done, Steve. Take a lap, hit the showers. That's how they did, Steve. That's how they did, Steve. Now for Lee Daniels. Lee, Lee ain't nowhere near broke. It's not going to hurt Lee, but to lose Empire on Fox when it was just going to be negotiated what they were going to do with the series after the season. They just like, no, this is it. Just pull the plug. It's done. And no, Jesse's not coming back. They're very adamant about not bringing Jesse back at all. So this did not go well. And the way it played out with nobody going to jail about it, They cashed in a last favor with that one. They embarrassed the Chicago Police Department. They embarrassed basically the government. Somebody had to be sacrificed. And Lord and behold, it'd be two black men. So everybody thought Monique would probably destroy them. She don't have to. As he had Monique on his show because Monique was, her name was generating ratings. Was flying through the roof. That's why she was sitting on the couch. And she tried to explain to you what was going on, Steve, and you telling people, see, it's the money game. And sometimes you got to do, you got to take care of your family and have integrity. Okay, Steve. You thought you was going to bring her on the show. Say the thing that the company people wanted you to say and you were going to educate her. And what ended up happening is you having that public conversation on your platform And talking about Planet Safe. Look what Planet Safe got you, Steve. Look where it got you, Steve. You know what you are, Steve? You lost two shows. Now, I got a call coming in from my mom. I'm going to take this. But I'm out.